What's going on folks? I'm about to show you how you would clean a K&N air filter. This happens to be the flat type pretty much that comes in most vehicles, which is inside of your air box right here. The first thing you're going to want to do if you have this set up is go ahead on and remove. You want to loosen this screw right here. I'm just loosening this. So what I can do now is go ahead and kind of wiggle. this out see how I did that basically I want to move that out my way pretty much basically once you got that out the way you can open this part right here and reach inside of here and you'll be able to pull out your K&N air filter right here and basically once you have this air filter out this one still looks pretty good but what you're going to be doing is cleaning this pretty much and so what you're going to do is, you're going to want to have, hold on, basically a K&N um, recharge kit that's going to come with your oil that you're going to be spraying on it once you're done cleaning it, as well as you're going to have your cleaner that you're actually going to be using on your air filter. So what you're going to do, this side right here, is going to be your dirty side. So your smaller side is going to be a side that actually gets dirty. So what you want to do, especially just go ahead and take your cleaner and you're going to want to spray it all the way in between these gaps like this. You want to get it all the way inside of all the gaps. Put the cleaner inside of it. Real good like that. And also you want to turn it over and you want to spray it on this side also. And remember you don't have to use this whole bottle pretty much. You're just going to be spread and make sure you get like a nice coat of the cleaner on it. And once you've done that, next what you're going to be doing is let this dry for about 10 minutes. And once you're done with that, you're going to be rinsing it off. I'm going to show you how to rinse it in a minute because it's a certain way that you need to rinse it. You don't want to rinse from this side to this side because this is rinsing from the dirty side to the clean side. So you don't want to force whatever dirt or debris that's inside of the dirty side into the mesh of the clean side. So what you're going to want to do is only, only rinse from the clean side to the dirty side. That way you press out, get the dirt out of the dirty side. So after I'm going to let this set for about 10 minutes and I'm going to show you exactly the way that you should rinse it. And also the way you're supposed to apply your K&N air filter oil. I'll show you that in a second. Alright folks, now that I've pretty much let this dry for about 10 minutes after using the K&N um, cleaner spray on it. Now what I'm going to be doing is going ahead and clean it. What you want to use is like some warm water and you don't want to use any high pressure on it. You don't want to use like a, a power wash or anything like that. You just will kind of want to let it run. I'm going to use like this house sprayer but I got it turned on really low that way it doesn't have a hard spray to it. And what you're going to want to do is if you look at it, turn this off, this side over here is your clean side. This is your dirty side. So basically the smaller side that you'll see is your dirty side. So you don't want to spray from this side to the clean side. What you're going to want to do is flip it and spray from the clean side to the dirty side. So the side that looks like it's the biggest perimeter all the way around it is the side you want to spray from. And what you want to want to do is, is take like your water and kind of like I said, you don't want to use nothing high pressure, nothing like that. Just some warm water and kind of spray it just like that. You want to spray on it all the way through like that to make sure that you get all the dirt and stuff out of it. So that's what you're going to want to do. You want to spray it all the way and make sure that you get it clean. And once you've done that, you can pick it up and look at it. And especially on the dirty side, and if you still see stuff on it, go ahead and flip it back over. Spray it some more with water to make sure it's nice and clean. Then if you still see stuff in it, like bugs or sticks, you can probably take like some type of a brush or something. Maybe an old prank brush or something like this and kind of scrape it out. Like whatever you see, you can kind of bend them open and kind of clean out each track pretty much. And once you're done doing that, now you want to go ahead and let this, you want to let this go ahead and dry. And once you have it dry, then you want to go ahead on and put your actual um, air filter oil on it, which I'll be showing you in a second. All right, folks. Now I pretty much have let this air filter dry for about 45 minutes to an hour. 
Now I'm ready to actually spray it. So what I'm going to be doing is taking my K&N uh, air filter oil, which you per you basically purchase a kit from like AutoZone or Napa or somewhere like that. Normally it runs you around $15 to, to maybe $17 pretty much. And what you're going to want to be doing is spraying the air intake side of it. So not this side. You don't have to spray this side, which is actually like the outside, the wider part. You want to spray the part that's the inside of it. So what you want to do is just pretty much take it and you want to just put a nice coat on it. You don't want to clog it though. You don't want to put too much on it. You just want to make it enough to where it's a nice covering over top of your whole air filter right here. And once you spray it up and it looks like a nice good red tint on it, now what you're going to want to do is let it dry for maybe about 15 to 10 to 15 minutes or something like that. Then you might want to go around it and wipe off any excess oil that's on it. And then also while you have it out, go ahead and kind of squeeze it open to look in the gaps to make sure there's nothing that's kind of stuck inside of it. And then you can go ahead on and reinstall your K&N air filter. Once again, folks, this is how you would clean a K&N air filter for your vehicle. All right, please check out our other helpful videos and please subscribe. Thanks.